So how you delete an item, you can go on the thumbnails page. So this would be my, let's just say I, so let's just say I duplicated something by mistake. Your duplicate of any document that you have is or folder is always gonna be a copy of whatever that main folder or document was named. So this is the copy of dummy text. Now I don't want this anymore so I can go in here and I just hit move to trash and it deletes it. But what happens when you accidentally delete a file? You're like, oh my God, I didn't mean to hit delete on that. What the heck just happened, right? So I'm actually going to delete this copy of this journaling thing. Yes, you can make a copy of a journal. So you would hit the same thing you would do Manifest, let's say that one, and then you just hit duplicate, and it makes a copy of any planner or journal that you may have. And again, the name of it would be copy of that, but it, it will copy everything that's in that file. So if you have notes on it, it's going to copy everything over. But it'll be renamed as copy of whatever that is. Again, we're going to hit move to trash. Now what happens when you have deleted something in error, you're going to go up to the little settings or I call it gears, this little settings icon, you're gonna go into your trash bin. Here's everything that I have deleted. I don't know how long this keeps it, but this seems like an awful lot of crap. So let's say I accidentally deleted that journal thing. I'm like, oh my God, I did not mean to delete that. I could delete permanently or I recover it. Recovering it is going to send it back to its original placement. It's just like the trash bin on your desktop. It does the same exact function. If you wanted to select more than one, like you didn't mean to delete these three, you can select as many as you like and then just hit again, recover. I'm not going to do that because then I'm going to get all this stuff right back. It'll also show you if you deleted a page inside your planner. So these are pages inside the planner that I deleted. So I can get those back and then again, it'll recover back to its original place. So I'm going to recover this one. I'm gonna hit recover. And that is gonna go now back into my documents right here. So that's how you delete and recover your items from the GoodNotes app.